Hey guys, so I just totally dyed up my hair and did that whole ombre thing and I am in love with it. So I decided to make a video on how I did it and this is the first time I've ever done my hair like this and I like it and it's kind of edgy and I did it for real cheap. Guess what? Did it for 12 bucks. Not bad. At least I don't think so. The cheaper the better, right? And I love the way it turned out. So if you want to know how I did it, just keep watching the video and let me know what you think and then you can have awesome badass ombre hair that I just whipped around like this too. A lot of fun to have and now I'll just play with my nerdy glasses because they kind of help the look kind of. No, it's still fun either way. All you need is developer and then hair lightener and you're definitely going to want to get two packets of this if you have my length hair or more but that should cover a brush and le missing bowl. Or you could just do it in a cup with a toothbrush, but I liked this, so it just made everything easier. And then this is optional, but to take care of my hair, I got some Cool Bond shampoo and conditioner. Oh, and don't forget an old t-shirt that you don't mind rooting, and some tin. This is just a close-up of the exact lightener I use. It's Prism Lights, and I used it in blue for Salon Care. I also used Salon Care, yeah, Care 20 developer, and this is a shot of my hair before. Long, dark brown, boring hair. Okay, you want to take a whole packet of lightener and you use half of the developer to it. There are even instructions on the back in case you get a different size developer, but it's two ounces to a whole packet of lightener and the bottle is four ounces, so you just only use half. And after it's all poured in there, you're going to take the brush that you're actually going to use to put the dye in your hair and you are going to mix it up until it's creamy. Then you're going to want to find your center part and just do that by taking a comb and guiding up your nose and then all the way through your hair. You might have to do it a few times to get it right, but you want to divide your hair evenly. And then you're going to divide it into four parts by taking the comb, taking it down from your part all the way to right behind your ear. That'll make two sections on the one side of your head. You do this on each side of your head. And then you're just going to want to separate the back parts into two sections too and you can clip them out of the way. Okay, that piece of tin foil I have in my hair, it's a tester strip that I had started beforehand. You're going to want to do that so you know how light you want your hair to be. Then you're going to take your section and you're going to start teasing it up right where you want your hair to start to get lighter. This is going to make it blend more and have a more gradual effect. Then you just take a piece of tin foil and you're going to slowly start putting the bleach on from the ends and go up. I like to do it this way because then it really does ensure that the ends are lighter, but this is the first coat. We're going to do this twice. Make sure it's really thick on the ends of your hair and then as you get to the top, turn the brush to the side and make it really messy. You really want it to blend and not look like a line. Then you're going to want to crunch that piece up and go on to the next one. I had a timer on while I was doing this. I did find out that for the lightness that I wanted for the first level, I did 15 minutes. You may find you want this more or less. And I did eat the two back sections first and then continued on to the front section. So I'm going to do the first full back section now. Oh, and the great thing about doing it on yourself is you can open the foils and look to see where your lightness is if you just rub away some of the bleach. If you were paranoid and kind of scared like I was, because this is the first time I dyed my hair. You just look at it and you can even rinse it off a little bit to check to make sure it's the right amount of lightness and leave it in longer or wash it out if it's where you want it. After you remove all the foils from the back two sections, you're going to wash your hair and dry it to make sure it's exactly how you want it to look and then continue on to the two front sections. I did it in this order only because I only wanted the first layer of dye in for 15 minutes because I really wanted a gradual effect. Now you're going to do the front section exactly as you did the last two and I recommend clipping those two back. You're just going to take each section down, tease it up, and then put the dye in where you want it and then let it sit for 15 minutes.
right now you take out those foils and you wash it and dry it just like the last section I recommend drying it on cool I did to not damage your hair anymore because this is very damaging then you're gonna mix up the second packet and make a second bowl of dye and you're going to start again this time do not tease because your hair is already fragile from the dye just put it on the ends where you want it to get extra blonde and do it very very thick on the ends and then bring it up just like the last one and make it a little uh, streaky you don't want a line for that one either and then you're just gonna fold that into a foil which I'm struggling with right now but don't worry don't worry I'll get it I'll get it okay now for this you're not gonna do just the two back sections and wash you're gonna do your entire head because you're gonna want to leave this in a lot longer I actually left mine in for 40 minutes because that's how long it took for my hair to get really blonde at the tips which is what I wanted but make sure it's the time that you want and then after that you're just going to rinse your whole entire head. This whole time you have not been washing with shampoo or conditioner. You just want to rinse until the water runs clean. Then you're going to try and towel dry that and then I do recommend trying to find a wide tooth comb to comb through because you really don't want to rip those ends of your hair right now because they are quite fragile because you bleached them. And then after you do this you're going to go and you wash with a nice uh, shampoo and conditioner and then you can style your hair however you want and there you go and now you can enjoy your ombre hair and this is funky and fun and I like it. I feel like it added so much layer uh, texture to my long hair so I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was easy enough to follow and let me know what you think. Thank you for watching.